Welcome back, ladies, gentlemen, and envies, and thank you for tuning back into St. Andrew TV, a cure for your Monday blues. I am your host, Andrew, and today I'm bringing you another tie knot that is courtesy of the Victorian era. This actually came to me while filming the Steal His Fit Part 3 and reading about the four-in-hand knot. I was not aware that how we tie a tie today actually originated in the Victorian era, and that's exactly what we're going to do today, is we are going to tie the four-in-hand knot. And if you give me a second, I'm gonna show you how to do it. So as I get derobed, this was research that was done for the Steel is Vit Part 3 video. I was very surprised that we have used the same knotting style for neck wear for over 130 years, but that's exactly what we're doing. It's called the four in hand knot. So with my vest undone, or my waistcoat undone, we are going to place our tie and we're going to place it around our neck with the right side or your dominant hand side about twice as long as your non-dominant hand side which would be my left and all you're going to do is you're going to take the right side or your dominant side and cross it over your left side or non-dominant side and you're going to stop right there then you're going to pinch it with your non-dominant hand and you are going to grab the longer piece and wrap it around and come back over like such. Now pinch it with your dominant hand or your right hand if you are similar to me. Now you're going to take your left hand and you are going to take the longer end and come up through the material right here against your neck and pull it all the way through. And you should have something that looks like this still pinched right here and you have your longer piece coming over the top over your fingers and over the piece that you've pinched now look carefully because the piece that you just wrapped over before you brought it up through your neck you are going to take your left hand and you're going to bring it up and that piece that i just mentioned the last piece that went across right before it came up through your neck you're going to pull it up like so and you are going to pull the longer piece all the way through that you crossed right before you came up through your neck. You're probably tired of me saying that, but it is the easiest way to remember. You're gonna look like this, and if you did it right, you are gonna bring your necktie up like so, and you are going to tuck it, and your necktie should look something like this. That is the four in hand knot that originated in the Victorian era. So not only did I do a how-to video today of how to tie a necktie knot, I also showed you some historical knots, which definitely bridges the gap between a how-to video and some Victorian era content. And there you have it. That is the four in hand knot that was originated in the Victorian era. Obviously I put the tie tack in there to keep my tie nice and straight and I actually forgot to button the buttons that hold down my collar. So now I am completely ready to get in the scuffle at the card game later. This can be done with ascots or cravats along with the longer ties that started coming around in the latter half of the Victorian era which is pretty cool that we use a knot today that was originated during that time. So anytime you go to a formal event, you are doing something that our Victorian era brethren did, you know, 130, 140, 150 years ago, which I think is pretty cool that stood the test of time. Please leave a like if you've enjoyed today's video or leave me a comment stating what you liked or tell me 
what I should do next. Thank you to everyone who has subscribed as of late. But for those of you who have come across this video because you need to learn how to tie a tie, or maybe you learned something that this kind of knot originated in the Old West, or you've come across this channel and you like Wild West content in general, or maybe you just found me by accident and you like the cut of my jib, think about hitting that subscribe button because you're a daisy if you do. I'm glad you plucked a 22 out of your ass cheek just to be a prop in one of these videos. Now you're wearing a tie. What does your life become?